Hi guys, welcome back. So this week I took a trip to Denmark. I did a TV show for an artist called Save Us because I'm international darling. Me and two of my friends, we went down, we did a TV show for the Prince of Denmark. So it was a very, very prestigious affair. Um, we had a load of fun. It was pretty stressful getting there, I'll be honest. But once we arrived, everyone was really friendly and really nice. So check that out. Your mind sees the world from the eyes of your heart. So it is at three in the morning, there's the evidence, and I bet you're thinking, why the heck am I up at this time, and why do I have sunglasses on? Well, I'm not being a diva. I'm actually trying to save you from what's underneath here. You really don't want to see it. Um, I'm up because I got a last minute call. In fact, it was a day ago, but I got a call to do a TV show for an artist called Save Us in Copenhagen. So I'm about to leave to get to the airport. I'm a South Londoner and I'm going to Stansted. It may mean nothing to some of you, but it's a long way. Guys, I just want to know, I just want to let you know how stressful this morning has been. My glasses are off and I just want to let you know that I'm tired and I've been here for two hours and I'm only now getting to the departure gate because Ryanair, and I don't want to use expletives. I was just about to ask if I could swear. Don't swear. I'm not allowed to swear. Babes, Ooh. the experience that we have had this morning compares to none other. So finally we are on our way to the gate and okay, we are going to board. Five. Number 45, this is Charlene, my boo, my hey. honey. Also, there's a phrase in this industry that you must really get to know. What's that? It's called hurry up and, and wait. wait. Okay? Listen hurry, up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. And then wait. This yeah. is the realest well, advice really that you will ever have yeah. in your this life. Is white. This is Sam White, guys. Hi. Hi, guys. Yeah. Hi. You haven't met her yet. But seriously, cool, if you can get the concept of hurrying up to wait down, you will survive. We're currently in Biland, which is in Denmark. Copenhagen. We're in Copenhagen. And we're waiting for our chauffeur. Don't get it twisted, they're probably going to come in a fiesta. <laughs> <laughs> I am in Denmark with Sabre. <laughs> <laughs> so we've come out to do a TV show, right? Yeah. Um, for the prince, crown prince, prince. 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 and the princess, and the princess. And the princess. Mary. Ma Mary. Yeah, what's her name? She's Australian, right? In yeah. Australia. Tasmania. 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 That's okay. Tasmania. Isn't that yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Right. Tasmania. So I'm sitting in the dressing room. This awesome person. And this awesome person. Introduce yourself. Uh, I am Sims. I am the singer and the producer, writer of the Bradley music. And, uh, I'm Simon and I play piano for Sailor. Okay. That's Martin. He's a uh, synth, synth specialist. That's right. <laughs> if you were not a musician or a singer, what would you do? I'm pretty sure I would be a game developer. Okay, actually, okay. I love so still games. creative? Yeah, still creative, but that was actually my, my goal before music. Before was music, okay. To, to go over. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. What about you? I would be a teacher. Teacher. No! <laughs> teacher of what? I'm in, in, uh, of music. Okay. Te teacher of music, but in, uh, in kind of like the stage, free school system. Now. Okay, okay. Yeah, very important. A high system? school? Yeah, yeah, high school. The Danish okay. high school. Okay. Okay. High school yeah. So still creative again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In some way. Oh, but when we, when we met in school, it was, we were studying music. Well. Right, so that's always, it's always in the, it's always in the trajectory. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so while that's right now, where you're at right now, and yeah. in this space, what are you got aiming towards if like if anything like obviously you would reset the goal once you've achieved it yeah but what at this stage do you think is like okay i'm aiming for right now we're aiming for releasing, releasing an album releasing an album okay. the world okay the, world. the worldwide okay breakthrough and that's of course that's a huge goal that's yes. that takes a long time of okay. preparation yes but, um, but we're heading towards that that's good save us everyone yeah save us <laughs> The prince and the princess are outside, we're just about to go on. And it's exciting, everyone's backstage, we're just getting our in ears on, our packs ready, and we're gonna see you on the other side. The gig is finished, 
We are done working. It's time to turn up. Shampoos, rum, everything, all the, all the things. We're done. We're done. Woo. What do you know about singer sandwich? Hey. <laughs> this is the deal. So we're back at Billand Airport, and we've just found out that it's not a direct flight. I'm heartbroken. Tell you why I'm heartbroken because I'm so tired. It is like 7 30 in the morning and we're tired. We've been up for a long time. We got in from the gig at 2 a.m., 1 a.m., went to bed at 2 a.m., and now we're waiting to go through to our security gate. But anyway, until we get to the other side, guys. I also caught up with Richie Clark. Now, Richie is Michael Kiwanuka's tour manager and he's such a lovely gentleman. Just wanted to ask him a few questions about his job and how what he does affects us as singers and musicians. So check out the short interview stroke chat that I had with Richie. Yeah. So we've just done a show with Michael Kiwanuka and I grabbed a minute with Richie, who is Michael's tour manager, who is very busy. This is like a privilege, thank you very much. Pleasure. So Richie is the guy, the man in charge, he takes care of everything, but I won't talk too much. I'll just ask Richie. Richie, who are you? What do you do? What's your role? Okay, um, my name's Richie Clark. I'm uh, Michael Kuanuka's tour manager, uh, amongst others. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah. what do I do? What do you do? What's your day-to-day -day activities? Uh, okay, so uh, a tour manager basically does what it says on the tin. <laughs> <laughs> he manages the tours, which involves uh, Anything from uh, booking transport to booking hotels right. to uh, organising equipment to organising the band yeah. to organising the backing vocalist. Yeah, back me. He's great. Um, yeah, all of that sort of stuff. Just okay. everything. All the logistics concerned okay. with the tour. Right. So, in terms of your career so far, mm -hmm. how did you evolve from whatever you were doing before into tour managing? What were you doing before? Before I started tour managing, um, I was playing in a band. Oh, you're a musician. Uh, I was, once upon a time. Yes. <laughs> you still are, technically. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I started guitar teching and then stage managing a bit, and then a um, bit of production managing, then tour managing. Right, okay. In terms of like what's next for you mm -hmm. and Michael, um, how do you how would you advise somebody who is in music maybe wants to get into tour managing or um, wants to understand more about the role to see whether it be a suitable career path for them okay um, how would you well i mean i understand nowadays they do college courses but, right um there certainly wasn't college courses around when i started um you know, if you want to, if you want to do it, there there are a few companies out there that do stage crew, right? Um, and you can find them up and just get on being one of their crew, right, right, which right. is just basically lugging the flight cases <laughs> around. around yeah. But it gives you an insight into what the world is like, right. and you know, if people can see that you've, you know, you're involved. you're up for it yeah. and you can get involved, yeah. you know, you can move up to maybe doing something else right. on the stage that's a little bit more involved and progress that way. Right. Amazing. Thanks, Richie. Pleasure. It's been amazing. All right. Thank you. Richie right. Clark. Thanks for watching, guys. Tune in next week where I'll be covering a gig for the one, the only, Mr. Peter Andre. You know what that means. Anyway, the reason why you need to tune in is because for the first time officially, I'm going to be doing choreography. Now, anyone who knows me knows that I'm definitely not a dancer, but I'm going to have fun trying. <laughs> anyway, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and hit us up on all of our social media. We'd love to hear from you. So until next week, guys, see ya. Fantastic oh, care. Thank you. Thank you. It's thank beautiful. Thanks. Can I touch it? Yeah, oh, you <laughs> ask. Yes, you can touch it. And it's light. It's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> She's beautiful. I just love it. You're beautiful. You're all beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. No. Oh. <laughs> My heart is, you know. Oh, that's so good. I just love you.